But Mitty was sitting there. <laughs> he, could, he couldn't answer the question. <laughs> so I was telling him, it's not only telling the student, I said, not only <clears throat> is it so easy and so ridiculous to get the Nobel Peace Prize for that kind of work. I said, I'll tell you something else. It was so easy to make it, the Crimean Bank, very simple. I didn't have to work really. Well, I shouldn't tell this story because uh, <clears throat> Nobel Peace Prize Committee chairman is sitting here. I said it was so simple to do it, so easy. <clears throat> When we are starting it, giving loans to the poor women, we have to find out, figure out, how to make the rules so that it will work better with the people and they can pay us back. And I had no experience of banking at all. I never been in banking. I don't know how to do banking. So whenever I needed some kind of a rule to do it, smart thing I did, I just looked at what the banks do in a situation like that. And then I figured out how they do it. And all I have to do, just do the opposite. <laughs> and it worked. <laughs> And every time we do that, we get another rule, another procedure, each one just the opposite. So I didn't have to think a lot, because it's all made. The basic principle of banking, as you all know, the more you have, the more you can get. So we reversed it. We said, the less you have, higher attention you get. If you have absolutely nothing, you get the highest priority. That's it. And that's why we did it and it worked. Conventional banks want collateral before they will lend you money. Meaning that you have to have a lot against which they will give you some. We said we are dealing with the poor people, we don't need that kind of stuff. Forget it. So we just pushed it out. We don't need collateral. That is easy. Made it make our work very easy. We didn't need any collateral. We didn't need any guarantee. And we did the bravest thing. We don't need any lawyers. <laughs> So in a, in, a, in a conventional bank you go, there are lawyers all around you to figure out all the papers, all the signatures, all, all the documentations. We have none. No collateral, no guarantee, no lawyers. Conventional banks love to lend money to men and rich men. We reversed it. We said we gave it to poor, and particularly to poor women. So the poorest women. So this is another reversal. Conventional banks want you to know everything about your business. You have to be an expert in your business. They'll look at your papers, they will ask you questions, make sure you know everything about what you are going to borrow money for. We went to women, explained to them that we would like to lend money to them. The more we explained, the more said, no, no, not me. So why not? Because I don't know anything. I never did anything in my life. And I've, I'm afraid to touch money. I never touched money in my life. Why don't you go and give it to my husband? He's the only one who understands money. I don't understand money. And I have no idea where to put the money, how to make money. 
And we train our staff when we send them out to the villages to talk to the women. We tell them that if a woman is responding like this, I don't know anything, don't give it money to me, I never did anything to earn money, said she's the one we are looking for. So it's your task would be to make sure she built confidence in her gradually so that someday she will say, let me try. And that's the day we should be waiting for. But when you tell her the first time when she says, no, I cannot take money, I don't know anything, always remember, this is not her voice. This is the voice of the history that has gone over her. Years and years of history of rejection, neglect, indifference. And that created a crust of, heavy crust of fear in her. So she's just dead, she's hiding behind that crust. The first day you say, here is the money, take it. You don't expect her to go, then let me have the money. She never had that experience in her life. So your job as a Grameen Bank staff would be, peel off, would be to peel off that fear, layer by layer, so that the real person can someday come up and say, let me try. And once she does that, she will start exploring herself, discovering herself, her own worth, her own creativity, and own energy. And that's what we are waiting for.